every human should have the ability to get down into a deep squat. It's actually a, a natural resting place for us, but because of the stagnant lifestyles we generally lead, we lose a lot of our mobility and the majority of us cannot get into this position, position not comfortably anyway. This position does a lot. It improves ankle flexibility, opens up the groin, opens the hips, it improves digestion, elimination, it compresses blood vessels, improves circulation, it does a lot. So it's, it's a good idea to improve your deep squat. It's gonna help your health, it's gonna help you move better. The next drill we can do, all we're doing is just leaning forward. We're gonna lean forward onto our balls and our toes. And just gonna rock back and forth. With all these exercises, the important thing to, to understand is that you want to try and keep the angle between your shin and the top of your foot as small as possible. So imagine trying to touch your shin with your big toe. Obviously, you're not going to be able to make that happen, but you get the idea. So just rock back and forth. The next drill we can do is just a calf raises in a deep seated position. So rock forward onto the balls and the toes and then just calf raises. We want to do it so at the bottom position our heels are off the ground. And that's really going to challenge the limitation in our ankles. The bottom position is where we're getting the most benefit from. This next drill is one of my favorites. Uh, I call them ankle circles. Uh, I actually ruptured ligaments in my left ankle playing basketball and I use this drill to rehab my ankle. Um, it improved mobility and it also builds foot intrinsic strength, um, which is important to developing stronger arches. So all you do is we're gonna go, we're gonna shift our weight from side to side, going right around the edges of our range of motion. You're, you're using your feet when you're doing this and your toes. That's how you're shifting your weight from side to side. And your interior tibialis also gets a real, real big workout, like they're gonna get me on fire, which is also gonna improve dorsal flexion and improve the strength of your foot. This last drill I'm going to show you is actually a big toe stretch. Big toe flexibility has an impact of your stride length which is going to impact how quick you can run or how fast you run. So it's actually pretty important but it also, this drill also stretches the back of the Achilles if done, if done correctly. And these drills, all of them actually are, it's a good idea to do them barefoot. You probably get more out of them. Or if you've got a, a good minimalist shoe. So when you're doing these, just focus again. You're thinking about touching the, the big toe to the shin. That, that's how you're gonna really feel that stretch in the back of the Achilles as well. Just get down here and explore, play around. That's how you're going to improve your ankle flexibility. But this stuff, depending on how bad your ankles are, you want to be doing this stuff nearly every day. You know, and in two, three weeks, you can make some really big changes if you just put a little bit of energy into this stuff.